are going to develop a program that outputs the birth years of four important people in computing. I'm going to start this from a, a brand new program in Visual Studio. So let's just run the new program. Uh, it immediately exits because of the return zero. So what I like to do when working with Visual St Studio is to add in C out saying, okay, let's enter a key to end the program and then using C in to catch whatever the user presses uh, before return zero. Uh, we're going to initialize the variable end prog key to the null character. I'm going to make sure to include IO stream and the namespace standard. Okay, let's go ahead and save and run this program. We've compiled, no problems, and we run. The program waits for the user to enter a key. Let's add another C out, which will say that the birth years of our uh, computer ancestors, uh, colon, kind of preparing ourselves for the full program. And let's just go ahead and test to make sure things look good. Uh, we compiled, ran it, got exactly what we were expecting. We're doing well here. So the first person we're going to add is Ada Lovelace. And we're going to add her birthday as a variable. So Lovelace's birthday as a variable. Let's run. And we have a, a compilation error. OK. Uh, we need to declare Lovelace's birthday as a variable. We're going to declare it as an int, compile. Here we have even more errors than before, but they're all pointing to the same line of code here. Uh, the problem is we put int afterwards. So that's the problem. Let's move it to the front, compile, and let's run the program. Let's see what happens. Oh, we have a runtime failure here, and this is the debugger tool telling us that the variable is not initialized. Let's see. We have the variable used. We have the variable. Uh, oh, we did not initialize the variable. Only declared the variable. So let's initialize the variable to 1815. Um, compile and run the program. So I had a Lovelace 1815. Great. We have three more individuals to add. The next individual will be Charles Babbage, creator of the Babbage machine. And this guy was born in 1791. Let's add him in and check to see if everything's working. It is. We're going to add an additional end line to the final C out just for aesthetic reasons. Given extra space makes it look nice. Since we've already gone through this procedure twice, I'm going to uh, add two names at a time instead of one. I'm very confident that this is going to be fine. So let's add in uh, the C out statement for John von Neumann. Now I'm going to copy paste his variable. And I'm going to do the same for Alan Turing. This is just to save me from having a uh, typo. Simple as that. And we compile for the last time, hopefully, run the program. There we go.